Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Health leaders say the highly infectious Delta variant continues to spread across the United States. Health leaders say the country is now averaging more than 50,000 new COVID-19 cases a day. That is up more than 60% over the last week's seven-day average. But they also say that hospitalizations now more than doubled over the last three weeks. Officials say nearly 44% of counties have what the CDC considers to be high COVID-19 transmission. That means that 100 or more cases per 100,000 people were at least a 10% positivity rate in just the past seven days. Among the states hit the hardest are Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Florida. Unfortunately, we're having uh, people that are very young um, with no preconditions and um, they're getting pretty sick. Officials say as a push to get more Americans vaccinated, there are growing calls for employers to institute vaccine mandates. Infirmary Health Systems revising its visitor policy because of the rising COVID-19 infection rates. Starting today, Infirmary Health will only allow two visitors at a time for inpatients. Emergency and outpatients will only be allowed one visitor at a time. In addition, all visitors will be required to wear a mask at all times and temperatures will be taken whenever someone enters the hospital. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich is expected to kick off her re-election campaign. District Attorney Rich is set to announce that she's running for a third term. The announcement is happening at 11 this morning at Government Plaza in downtown Mobile. DA Rich, who was elected back in 2010, previously served as assistant DA for 15 years. The July heat wave continues. Folks are looking for ways to safely beat the heat. Zach Hubbard came out for his second workout of the day yesterday afternoon. He told us that he was getting used to the searing heat. Tommy Dunham, meantime, says he likes working out in the heat and is rather philosophical about it. I enjoy the heat. Um, it does something euphoric to you. These days, these minutes we have, and part of it is going to be the heat. The heat is, yes, yeah, definitely it's exhausting, but uh, over time, getting back in shape, it's, it's just a great, great thing to do to get out. Of course, we all need to be careful in the heat. Excessive sweating, lightheadedness, and clammy skin are all signs of heat exhaustion. So remember to take it easy and stay hydrated on these hot days. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 Storm Track Report. A look at the radar before 430 in the morning and some overnight rain was working its way from the southeast to the northwest across the Florida Panhandle and Baldwin County. But you can see right at 430 in the morning, those showers are fizzling out fast and you only have one small shower just south of Loxley. Now we are expecting a mostly dry morning, but scattered showers and storms will be the name of the game. We'll see those blossoming back up throughout the course of the day today and the coverage will be better than what we faced yesterday afternoon. The tropical disturbance that was off the east coast of Jacksonville that is going to contribute to higher showers and storms for us as we move into our afternoons. That is when temperatures are at their hottest. That is when the air is the most unsettled and unstable. And on the this loop of the last 12 hours, you can see where the storms were yesterday and how quickly they died off when the sun went down. That will still be the case over the next several days, but you'll see the rain coverage back up to about 40 to 50% starting this afternoon. Here's a look at your weather headlines for this Tuesday. This morning, this morning is very muggy, very humid. This afternoon going to be hot with the risk of scattered storms. And then as we head in toward the long range, the temperatures stay steamy. We are definitely in the dog days of summer. On the Fox 10 future cast, showers and storms, the next round will pop up in the afternoon. Heavy rain and lightning, the primary threat so you know that when thunder roars you have to go indoors and when the sun goes down you'll start to see the number of showers begin to diminish. Here's a look at how the next seven days stack up about 40 to 60 percent coverage of storms today through Thursday and then 30 to 40 percent coverage Friday through the weekend. The high temperatures stay in the mid to low 90s every day mornings in the mid to upper 70s heat index values in the triple digits so very steamy air is going to be with us to close out the month of July. We'll talk much more about your weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.